Welcome all gamers to another CBBG video here at Hugh's Your Channel is Chris and Morgan. And we are here with another battle report for you guys. Yes, we are. We are playing um, a scenario from the Desolation of Smaug rulebook, source book even, uh, called Rescue. Yes. Um, which is quite unique. You have a, uh, a defending force and you have an attacking force. Um, and I'll be playing the defending force, which consists of Radagast Alliance. And I'm bringing uh, Radagast Mounted with Sebastian, as well as two Eagles. Yes, and I'm bringing uh, Asteroids Hunters led by Thimble, uh, who has a warband of six Hunter Orcs on Felwax with no additional equipment, and two Felwax. And the other warband is a Hunter Orc Captain with a two headed weapon, uh, who's leading a full warband of Hunter Orcs with various equipment and a banner. Um, and the story we have today is that Radagast has been riding through Mirkwood and just sort of hanging around, healing the players, when a, a band of mounted hunt dogs came after him and he just dashed, bolted away, riding over the terrain, uh, when suddenly he sees that there are more hunt dogs coming from the opposite side. But luckily, some eagles are just flying through the terrain, I don't know what they're, what they're doing, probably on their way home to Carrick or something, when they see Radagast in trouble, so they fly down to rescue him. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's 350 points, yes. if anybody's curious. Um, mine comes in at a total of 345. Mine comes in at a total of 350. Perfect. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's Isn't it. it. Let's uh, just take a look at the board and the setup. So we'll be back in a second. And so we have the Defending Force. Uh, what you'll see is um, my newly painted up Radagast on horse. Um, Rob, our other channel host, kindly painted that up for me, and I'm really chuffed with how he's, he came. He's beautiful. Yeah. Really good job, Rob. Um, and with him, he has two great eagles, uh, also painted up by Rob. Thank you very much. Um, yes. So basically, that's it. Um, and they will be deployed right here in the center. Radagast is just going to switch switch his position over here because that is technically where he's deployed. Yes. And that's basically it. So we can go over to the attacking force. Yes. And as we just see, as Radagast was riding this way. He sees the ones who are coming to trap him with the banner of the White Warg, led by the orc formerly known as Bolg, now known as Skulp, or whatever you want to call him. Um, and then there's the pursuers from behind, led by Fimble, who are coming to get him. So that is the Battle of Forces, zooming out. This is the board. Let's get into the game. And here we have the board after the first movement. We should mention that the attacker, which is me, uh, has uh, moves first on the first turn no matter what. So I moved as far as I could get up. Then you um, used Radagast. Mm -hmm. He cast the Terrifying Aura successfully with a three point of will, using his ring or whatever it is that gives him the ability Staff to of staff, power. Staff, staff of power. Okay. Uh, he used the three point, so now he has uh, Terror as well. Uh, then he charged in on one of these uh, fell arcs. And over here we have an eagle charging in the fell walk here, probably gonna do some hurling actions, I imagine. And I think the same thing is what's gonna happen over here. So um, that's the board after movements. Let's go straight into shooting. No, we shouldn't because I moved forward with my two archers. Yes. Let's go into combats. Um, it's your priority. It um, is my priority. I um, don't really have any special stuff to do, so oh. I think I wanna say... Um, let's do the fight with the wolf against the Radagast first. Very good. So that's this fight over here. Yep. Uh, I will be piercing striking. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay, very good. Um, so let's roll it I don't know, over here, just to yeah. not hit the model. Yeah, good idea. Let's see what you get. get sitting standard on a five. It's good. Uh, Radagast being uh, green. Oh, and he's, and remember, my, my thing is not mounted, so you also get mounted charge bonus. I'm sorry? You also get your charge bonus for being mounted. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Radagast being green and Sebastian being white. Now take six. that six there. So I lay on the floor. Um, and defense four. Yes. So Radagast needing four on green and Sebastian needing uh, six. Six, yeah, on the white. And uh, six over here. Yep. And that takes him out. So that's the first death. Okay, so let's take the eagle over here. Okay. I have one because I'm a mounted hunter orc, I'll be fainting. I have uh, two attacks? Yes. I'll set the standard with the fainting dice. 
And a one. Okay, so you win. win it. So are you gonna hurl? I am gonna hurl. So it's a difference in our strength plus yep. a dice. Plus a d6, is it? Uh, oh yeah, I think it's a d6, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a d6. So you are strength what? I'm strength four. Uh, I'm strength six. So that's two plus your dice. Get two a one. plus four, so that's six inches. That's six inches, okay. That is a measure that's on camera. Six inches from your base. So clipping thimble. Up at thimble, that's exactly what you wanted. Yep, exactly. So they're all dismounted. Yep. Uh, yes. So we will, we will uh, we will dismount them afterwards. Let's yep. do that. So let's just exactly. start by rolling dice. So it's uh, three threes on this guy and a six on uh, this guy. So we'll yep. start with him. Yeah. So the first guy, uh, three strength three. Yeah. So that'll be fives. Uh, nope. And a strength six, uh, being threes. That's a one. No. No. But let's see, let's see the dismount. Uh, because he is um, a fallen rider. Fallen rider yeah. test, yeah. Okay, so he doesn't uh, run away. What? Were well, you supposed to? But, no, he he he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. He okay. he just stands on his uh, his feet. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll uh, curse test for the walk. Curse test for the walk to see if it runs away. He loves it. He loves it. Yeah. He absolutely loves it. Um, it's an extra marker for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. He takes a strength three. Yes. So that will be a uh, five again. And he's good. He's dead. And the uh, mark Walk. runs away. Yes, it does. So you can remove that model Thank entirely. You. Yes. Uh, again, this one. Yeah. Strength three. Uh, so needing fives. That's a six. That's a six. So that walk is gone. And Fimble, also defense four. Uh, he's defense five. Five. Still fives. Well, that's a two. And then so walk. Does that run away? No, oh, it does it. That's good. So um, um, we'll just fall right a test up on her. Fall right a test. That's true. Quick. One. So he takes a strength three hit. Okay, do you want to roll it? Since you're the man. Sure. Baby? So strength three on defense five, so that's fives. Oh, no, okay. he's fine. So, but he does lay down the floor and he's prone, right? Because he's rolled a one. Yes, so he's prone. So okay. why don't we fix that situation? And, and then we'll, we'll come back to the other combat. Yes. yes. <clears throat> and then we have the second combat of the round, which is uh, um, an orc over here. Versus the eagle. Yep. I will be uh, just for the heck of it. I will be piercing strike him, but no two hand weapon. Okay. Because I still want that six. <laughs> there you go. Do you want so, to set the bar? I will set the bar. The five. five. It's good. Ah. Oh, but I take on the five on the fight while you're there. Yes. Um. You gonna hurl? Yeah, I am. So uh, once again, two I guess plus d six. Yeah. Only plus three. one, so it's just three inches. Okay. So that's just gonna take him. Oh, oh. timber. <laughs> we go. Uh, that's just gonna take him over here. Yeah, you just side. get those three. Yeah. He just gets the this yeah. guy, and then the captain, and this guy. Oh. The detail of your hand is pretty good on this camera. The what? The details of your hand, of your skin, is pretty good on this camera. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, should we start with the guy that act, that was hurled? Yeah, we can do that. So he takes a strength six. And two strength three, yes. So starting with the uh, strength six. Yes. On defense four. Uh, Meaning, uh, uh, threes. So a three. Nope, that's a two. Need and fives. And there were two of them. That's oh, he's, a five. He's dead on that one. Yes. So that's and, this guy. Yeah, moving him. There we go. And a strength three on the guy that was hit first. Yes. So a five. Nope. And the captain, a five. That's a six, so that's a wound. So it's a wound, so we'll use this one fate point. Um, nope. Nope. So he takes a wound and lands his fate. He doesn't have two points, why? No, he, he does have two, but I don't know how to use them. Okay. So he spends his fate point, and he takes a wound. Okay. So let's go into priority. Yep. Um, I get a four. I, I get, get a one. one. Would you like to call any heroic stuff? Yes, with uh, Thimble. Uh, with the Thimble. The one laying on the floor there. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So do you want to counter? I just might. Um, you just might? I just might. Uh, Let's see what I did there. <laughs> um, I'll figure that out and we'll come back in a second. Okay. So we here we have the board after movement. I did decide to call a heroic combat. Uh, um, and here we have the board after movement. So. I call a heroic move, uh, but not all of my 
orcs or and slash wargs managed to get up to charge Radagast, but uh, three of the, three of them managed to charge Radagast while some of them are frozen fear, including Fimble, so he's still on the floor, but he wasn't charged luckily. So I charged you, you then took the eagle that was over here before, flew yep. all the way over here to a counter charge. Um, and then I also got one in on this eagle, and then I just moved these guys up. So that is the board after movement. You have priority. Which combat do you want to go into, sir? I would like to start with the eagle over here. The eagle over here. Yes, please. Okay. Should I roll first? Uh, yeah, why not? You get two strikes. Yes, and I shouldn't remind you, even though he, I've given him a two-handed weapon, I, I didn't give any additional equipment in the game. Right. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just a model. Yep, that's fine. So any of them are at once. Okay, so Set the bar. use my two strikes, because I do get two strikes. Yep. Four. Four. I have my two, so I just need a four or Three, higher. Two. Get a four! I get a five there. Uh -huh. Take so it. you win the fight. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to barge him back. Okay, so, so that's, that's uh, three, three inches, inches in any direction. So it's not just about there. Yeah, roughly. Yes. It's a friendly game, isn't it? It is a friendly game. It is a friendly game. Very friendly. Very friendly. Um, and he, I'm just gonna take the liberty of spinning this eagle. Okay. Spin the eagle. And this guy, he's gonna charge you in on Fimble. Okay. Just on Fimble, like so. Okay. Um, and. Yeah, let's just do Fimble. Let's do Fimble, okay. I have my two strikes, well, um, I'm fight four. No, I have my five, what are you? Fight seven. Okay, I'm gonna faint. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Five. Um, I have my two attacks. Yes, and I do have two points of might left. Uh, the Eagles don't have might. No, but I do. Oh, you do? Yes, yes, two yes, yes, you do, yes, you do. So let's see if I can get a five. Six. six. I take it. So even with a uh, mic point, I don't win this fight. No. So and you are prone. You're prone. So that is a bunch of attacks. So that's four strikes. Yes. Um. Fins, and fins five. Yep. And I am strength six. So six on five. So that is fours. Needing three of them to be certain that I die. Two yep. of them to. So just getting fours here. Let's get three of them. I get two. Okay. So I might die if I fail my a single fake point. Yeah. So two mic to, to he's oh, fine. He's fine. So that was just so pass the fate. So that's one wound, take one fate. But my heroes are not doing well. Both on one wound and zero fate. Yeah. So there we go. I don't like eagles. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we have the fight over here. Uh. Yes. Let's do the uh, next eagle. This one. Yes. He's fighting two. He's fighting two. And. I charged a mounted guy, so that and then I was counter charged, so that I don't get the charge bonus on the eagle. That's right. Okay. So you get just uh, your two dice. So my two dice. Yep. I will be fainting. Makes sense. Get a five. It's good. Just need a five. No. I get a six. That's good. So what are you gonna do? Um. I am going. I mean, you can trap one of them. Well, actually, yeah, he can't. Yeah, you can trap one of them because I have a prone model, so he can't go back. It's hard to see on camera. Yeah, yeah. There's a big wing in, in the way and trees. So, um, I am going. Are you going? I'm going. <laughs> what am I going to do? I think. Should I just do strikes? Yeah, I just kill one. There's only two. You only have two strikes. Sorry? You, you have two strikes, so that's the best you can do with striking. Uh, they... I know it's tempting, to, I, I, I know it's very tempting to do uh, monster things all the time. Not necessarily recommended. No. Um, okay, let's just... Yeah, okay, let's just do it. Okay. Um, is he trapped? Uh, let's see. No. He's, he's not. Alive. The other one is. So no, you can move that guy out, can't you? Uh, oh yeah, because yeah. you just measure from oh, that guy's That's true. Nobody is trapped. Um, okay. Starting with this guy. Yes. Um, needing a four. On the man or the walk? Uh, me. Yeah, needing sense. a four. Yeah, he's dead. So does the walk stay in? Yes, he loves he it. Very good. So we'll find it this uh, I'll just move this guy back and, re yeah. and then replace that. And then a four on the other guy? Yes. That's a four as well, so he's dead. Does the mark? Mark? So mark, mark. mark. Does the mark stay in? The wax no. is not staying. So we'll just remove that one. So we'll come back uh, in a moment just to clean things up. Yep. And so we are into the last combat of the round. And it is 
One Hunthog versus Radagast. Should I set the standard? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So, fainting. Mm -hmm. Five. Five, it's good. good now enough. a five, and I'll take it. Let's get a five! No, it's a four. Four and a three. Um... Eek! Eek! Um... Ready is strength four. Is that right? Strength four. Yeah, he's strength four. So we'll be needing fours. Ah, but a point of mind to do it. Should we? Should we not? Oh, well, is he five four? You mean? What? Do you mean five four? Or... No, strength. Strength four. Okay. So Radagast is strength four. Yeah. So I'll need a four to kill your hunter orc. Yeah. Um, but it cost me a point of might. Is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Okay. So, um, I take the combat. I spend the point of might. Okay. There we go. And um, you have two strikes. You have the. I have uh, Sebastian. So Sebastian needing sixes and the other one needing fours. Yep. Yes. No. Oh yes. No. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. So uh, let's fine. Roll. Let's roll priority. Uh yeah. Let's do. I get a six. So I take, take it. Take it. Um, you want to call it rook? Yeah, I might. I'll come back after movement. I might. And... and here we have the boat after movement. So you did use a heroic move. Rebecca started out by, by running over here before he charged in or before cast any spells really. He, this was once a rider, he used Panic Steed. He was dismounted but didn't take any damage, he was just frozen basically. But the mount disappeared. And then you charged in on this walk. Over here you charged in on Fimble. Over here you charged in on a, a guy riding for a walk. Yep. I managed to get two guys in here, rolling eights on both, to get uh, in while this guy uh, over here was frozen in fear. And then I just moved the rest of my army up. And that's basically all the movement. I have the priority, so let's go into combats. Starting with the Trapped Eagle. Do you want to call any heroics? I could call a heroic strike, I just realized. Yeah, I'll call a heroic strike. Makes sense. Needing two to, to equal it and... Yep, so get a three and you're higher. Ah! No! Wow, okay. I could use two might to... You only have one left. Well, I could use one might to make that a two. And then you have even fight value. Yeah. So it's too much to get an even fight value. I would rather. I'm gonna save that mine in case I don't get a six. Makes sense. In case I yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. However. But let's take this fight. Yep. So you get four strikes. Yes. So I have two red with Fimble, and they will be fainting, and the wolves don't have any special strikes. No. You got four. four. Highest. Oh, it's not good. Not good for me. Just needing a four here. Four, five, or six. I get a four there. I get double fours. So I use his last mind to win the fight. Yes, you do. So Fibble doesn't get any strikes, so obviously it didn't matter that he fainted actually. Nope. Because he was laying down, but he's standing up, and I get four strikes with my wolves. Uh, Two with each. Yes, because I'm trapped. Yes. Yes. So uh, what strength are they? I'm sorry? Four. Four. And um, seven is five, so I think. And I am defense. Seven or I eight? Say, I want to say eight. Oh, okay. Yep, eight. So that is probably sixes, can you say? Uh, four and eights are sixes. Yes. Six so sixes. You need to deal three of them. Zero That's sixes. None. So I just. Uh, it goes fine. I just move backwards. Yep. Okay. And I'll take. Not as perfect as I'd hoped, but now. Yeah. There Let's we go. Take the fight against Ready. Ready. I charged, so I get my charge bonus. I should have used my banner reel to see if I had gotten a six. Would I have gotten a six? Oh, oh no! You think it? Oh no! Uh, I, that was for this fight! No, let's go. And I, I'll okay. that, that would be. Do you want to set the bar? What is that? Three. A three. Oh, I missed it. That's, oh. I got, got a three, three, so I take on a fight value. Oh, I wasted a six just by for fun. Oh, I hate that. Uh, fours on the green and sixes on the white. That's nothing. Nothing. Nope. Okay. So let's take the fight over here. I have one dice, you have two. Indeed. I'll be fainting. Makes sense. Let's see what you get. Six! Yeah! That's a six! I do need a six to take it. Let's see if I get a six! Yeah! Oh, gosh. One strike, you're needing a uh, six. To wound. Over here. No. No, that's nothing. Okay. But I didn't lose anything this combat. Which really? I didn't lose anything again. Yeah. Okay. So let's go uh, into priority. 
Yeah, let's do that. See no, what you get. I have no more might on my side. You have one left, by the way. Don't you have some of your captain? Oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah, he, he does. I forgot about him. You have the captain right I there. For, I forgot got, about him. I, he hasn't been doing things. So I forgot about him. Yep. Okay. Priority. Oh yeah. Let's see what you get. I had it before, so you get it on six. I get a two. You just need a two. I get a six, so I take it. Do you want to call any heroic stuff? We will come back once you figure that out. <laughs> uh, and here we have the boat after movement. Um, you had the priority. I did use a heroic to get in with as much as I can. It wasn't that much. We should say that I countered. You did counter, but I, I succeed. Yes, yeah. that means I'm mightless now. Yeah. yeah. I got in with Thimble, a mounted one, who was then later panic seated, so he lost his steed, but he can still fight. And this guy charged in, but you counter charge here. Some of my guys just moved up, some of them were frozen in fear. Banner is over here, still within the this combat and this combat over here. So he's mm. within two of the combats. Yeah. So that is basically how we're going. You have the priority. Why do you want to start fighting? Uh, I would like to start here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I should ask. Do you want to... Oh, no, you can't call any heroic, can you? Because the mm. captain isn't... No, okay. He's done in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's start here. Yes. Uh, this guy. Um, I have a high fight, so should I just set the bar? Okay. I will uh, not... Let me just think. I will be not be using my two-handed weapon because I don't want to get minus one to win right. the fight, but I will be using piercing strike. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, and I have a banner reroll. So let's see if I can take it on a six. Uh, I um, well, you know I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. You're gonna hurl this way. <laughs> so, um, so it's d6 plus two because yeah. that's different in strength. So two plus that's oh, eight. Oh, that's probably. I wonder if that's all the way through. It so might be. It might. might. <laughs> is it? Uh, yep. It so it just clips that guy. Okay. So it's. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just gonna lay down your models. Yeah. This guy. I'll hope. Banner there. This guy gets done. This guy. And this guy. I think that's pretty much it, right? Uh, that guy. That guy too? Okay. There we go. Oh, I just need to get this guy down. And that is how you ruin a battle line. If you can call that a battle line. Hot don't have battle lines, they just run forward. There we go. And you put him on the other side of the... No, he just goes into he, him. Yeah, yeah, he just hits him. Okay. There we go. So, uh, should we start with this guy? Yeah. And you're starting with the strength six. Yes. So that's yeah. a three, isn't it? So six and four? That's, yeah, it's threes. Let's get that away. So that's a three. They's dead. So that's an actual dead. Yeah. Very good. Okay. This guy. Uh, fives. Yes. Dead. Take him off. <laughs> dead, take him off. There we go. This guy. Fives. No. No. Uh, the banner. Fives. No. no. Uh, this guy. Fives. Yes. Dead, take him off. Uh, captain. The captain. Uh, still fives, right? Uh, defense five. Yeah, so fives. That's the wound. Dead, take him out. There we go. Uh, this guy. Yes. Dead, take yeah. him off. This guy. Dead, take him off. Oh my goodness. That's four. Five so far, one of them being a captain. Six so far, one of them being a captain. And the last guy, fives. Yes. Oh, this is what you just killed with one hurl. There we go. That's I've never seen that models. effective. Ow! I think that might have broken me. I think that's the best hurling I've ever. You got seven models there. Yeah. That's twelve. You've gotten them. So that means you're actually broken just from that hurl. I think so. We'll we'll count out. Well, I think yeah, so we'll count. Yeah, but just after, to, after yep. this round, you'll probably have broken me. Okay. So um. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. That's so right. which fight do you want to do now? Uh, ready guest. Ready guest. Ready guest. Okay. That's his, uh, I will set the standard. Yes, please do. It's two. Needing ones. I think. Uh, take it. But you still move backwards. Yeah. Because I couldn't move my guys to. I couldn't move, move my guy to the side. Right. Okay. So I get double these strikes. Yes. Um. So. Uh, Six is on, on the white and, and four is on the green. Rerolling it all. If I don't get it, but he's dead on that though. He's actually double. Yeah. So I think I'm certainly uh, broken. Yeah. Um, I haven't wounded you once this game. And the last combat of the round. Two white dice will be a uh, hunter orc. Two red will be thimble. You gonna faint? Uh, fainting all of them. Yeah, makes sense. Setting standard. Yep. On a five. Okay, a five. So you um, need a five. I do need a five. I get on those double sixes. Uh, oh. Oh. And I am gonna put both strikes on Fimple. Well, I'm gonna roll them one at a time. Yeah, because you could kill him with the first one. Yeah, so uh, threes, sixes on fours, that's three. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. defense five. 
Oh, he's defense five, is he? Yes. Okay. Uh, so that will be fours then. Yeah. Um, but let's see if I can get a four. So that's Fimble. Done. Uh... And, well, the last one on the last guy. So again, needing... Well, what defense is that guy then? Four. 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 So, so Fimble said... So four. So. No, he's fine. Okay. So that concludes the round. That concludes negotiations. <laughs> uh, if you can call that, I guess, probably aggressive negotiations. Very think. aggressive negotiations. Okay, so that concludes the round. We'll just come back to see if the game is actually over. We'll be right back. So this is what the board looks like now. Suddenly it looks really, really good for the good guys. Um, yeah. So let's roll some priority for the next turn. I am broken, so next turn might be the last if you kill a little bit more. Just when I'm six months left on the board, then I am on 25%. Well, even if you get priority now, you're going to have to do a whole lot of curse tasks. I know, and they're going to run so, away. We'll see. Let's see what you get. Get a one. So if I get a one, it's yours. Yeah. So you get I'll take it on that three. So uh, you move first. Yep. And he waved the board after movement. So uh, you basically ch charged on a few guys. A bunch of my guys ran away. Two of them didn't. But they, this guy didn't manage. To, he wasn't. He was courageous enough to stay, but not courageous enough to actually fight. Yep. Uh, this guy just ran towards you, which doesn't matter. And then we have three fights. Yep. And then we'll. And, and you're winning no matter what. But let's take the three fights. Let's see if I can get a cheeky wound. Yeah. Get a single victory point on Radagast. You have yeah, let's see if you can wound him, yeah. yeah. Um, well, in that case, let's see if we save him for last, shall we? Okay. Just to... So let's do this one first. Bing, bing. <laughs> Makes sense. Got a more two. I got another five. Um, Needing four... Threes? Threes, yeah. Death. Yeah, he's double dead. Three more. <laughs> there we go. Next block. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What was the... What would have... Well, it would have been a six. Ah! <laughs> I take on that three, needing threes. Yeah, he's dead on that five. You, and run again. You really wiped the floor with me. Okay. How? Are you ready? You ready? Yep, let's see if we get the six. Get the six! I four. Get four. Let's see what I take it. I take it on that six. Dismount it. Yeah, well, pro. Yeah. Yeah, he's double dead. And that can... Hey! It was. Uh, Sebastian. Sebastian! Sebastian! Sebastian got killed. Kill. Sebastian got the last Sebastian kill. Sebastian, kill. Sebastian got the last kill. Okay, that's perfect. So. You get three victory points, I get zero. Uh, you got three yeah. for breaking me? And uh, being, while being unbroken myself. Yeah, and I didn't get, he, he hurt your leader at all? Nope. So that was the game. Three the game died. Three game. Thanks. Okay, let's go into a post battle battle break. Break. breakdown. Hi! Welcome to this post battle battle break breakdown. Um, so that was that. Yeah. That went. Uh, what was your expectations when you started? Well, actually, I, I told you that even uh, in the beginning. I thought this was going to be very difficult for me to win. Yeah. Um, and I even said I was pretty sure that you were going to take it. Yeah. I, I noticed something. Mm. I think I really need to play a lot with my hand dogs. And I'll maybe consider making the ball bends differently. Because I've noticed I haven't lost, no, I haven't won a lot of games with my hand dogs when I mm. have pure hand dogs. Uh, and I think I what, do you, what do you think that is? I honestly think, first of all, I've heard because they are so squishy, they can be pretty di difficult to use right yeah. on the proper way. And I think the other thing is, I typically take one warband with mounts and, and, mm -hmm. then one, and then the rest without or something like that. I think you need to spread the mounts over the different warbands instead of just having one mounted force. You need to use them as reinforcements or to get around the sides of the different battle lines that appear in the game. Yeah. And and, and make sure to, because then you always have the two strikes from your your non-mounted ones. And, yeah. then, and then you charge in to see, with one of them to see if you can also then prone. make them prone, yeah. which is what they're supposed to do. Yeah. So I think I'm going to try and do some different lists from now on to see why, why I spread the mounted ones over the different warbands. I think that might make a difference. Yeah, that's really interesting. That'd be very interesting um, to Because uh, so far, it's like one of my favorite bosses to play. But I really lose a lot with them. If you guys have any uh, ideas or tips, yeah, uh, be yeah. sure to yeah. leave them in the comment section below. And you don't need to tell me to read the SPG magazine to tactics. I've read them. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't helped so far, or maybe I'm just better following them. Um, um, anyway, how, how do you think um, the game went? Um, at first, I thought it was... I don't know. It was okay the first two rounds and then mm -hmm. you I feel like 
then you basically just knock me down, knock me down, knock me down. Yeah. Except for the one round where I did manage to not die with Simbo, but then he died shortly after anyway. Um, yeah. Um, I lost a bunch of health with my heroes, wounds with my heroes early. Yeah. Um, and the fact that I was, you just mounted a bunch of my riders early on with a hurl, it's good for you. Um, Simbo was also dismounted. Um, yeah. I mean, my game plan was kind of to... Because I, I could have the um, upper hand with yeah. movement, assuming that I could get your uh, your troops dismounted. Because yeah. then suddenly you would be able to confine to having six inches of movement, yeah. where I had um, two high fight models was moving double. Yeah. So I could basically control the the board that yeah. way. Yeah, and then a, a, a magic hero to totally mobilize and, and mobilize. Like so you really yeah. had the board control too. Yeah, I, and I, that was, I was I was at your mercy when it came to where the fights were gonna be. Yeah. Pretty and, and that's kinda of, that was the game plan for starters. And then knowing that you had low courage, um I wanted to try to take out as many uh both your heroes as quick as possible. Yeah. Uh, because then come around when you have to take courage tests they would run away, and they did, which they did in the in the very final round. Yeah. Um. I what? How many ran away? Five or something. Yeah. yeah five. You uh, killed. Uh, you had one turn where you killed eight different models, and then right after that, five ran away. Yeah. Pretty broken. Um. Yeah. That that hurl. That hurl. Well, well, one hurl. One hurl killed seven, seven models, which yeah. is insane. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Generally, that doesn't happen. I, I've never. Seen that yeah. happening before? I was very, yeah. very lucky with my dice roll. Monsters are good, but monsters are doing well with challenge so far. Like yeah, the previous they, 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 and the great Gotham always does well. Well, he, he's yeah. doing quite a few. He's a beast. <laughs> he's a beast. And if you watch the previous one, the trolls did quite well. Yeah. And here you have the two eagles did quite well. I'm very chuffed with my yeah. eagles. Don't not only think? not only uh, do they do well, they also look stunning. What do you, yeah, they do really do a good job with Rob. Yeah, be sure to yeah. check out Rob's hobby blog from yeah. last week. Very good painter. Um, to, to check out how he did that. Yeah. Um, and he also did them on the Radagast. Yeah. So check out his last hobby yeah. blog. Yeah, definitely. Plug! <laughs> um, okay, um, what else was I thinking? Don't you think it's really, really fun to play monsters? Like, it's, I, I <coughs> imagine it must have been quite dull before the hobby rules without all the special attacks. Yeah. Because then they were just big troops that are usually surrounded. Which is, um, yeah. Which, which I'll come back to yeah. because you made a good point there. Yeah. Uh, yes, I really thought this was fun. This is only my second game ever playing. Monsters. Uh, second, second or third game ever um, playing with monsters. You played with the trolls, trolls like once two years ago. Yeah, and then I think I had yeah in a, in a big Moria game test game. Oh yeah. Like, uh, Games Workshop. I also had the Dweller and whatnot. Um, that was a fun test game, and uh, before the Eagles. We played, uh, we played Rose Martin. We played Rose. Yeah, that's right. Rose, Rose Martin. Wow. Yeah. Um, but it, it's definitely fun. Yeah. It's nice to have that. Um, the 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 extra um, like options. Options exactly. Yeah. Instead of always having to either you know just strike basically, you 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 have other options which can really change the entire battlefield. Yeah, as it did with with that girl. Yeah. Because I imagine before the Hobbit rules, now I did I didn't mm. really play back then, but I imagine that with a monster, it's like you you basically run in and you fight and you run in and you yeah. fight and then you see if you can kill a bunch of guys and you see and like you never have those. It you didn't have any many tactical options with all monster forces, no. but you do now. Yeah. Um. So I and I so I think it's very fun to play monster and also fun to play against actually. But I think you were like you were on the right track at one point because there was a round where you had Fimble, was it a warg and a regular hunter or something? Somewhere that. Where well, you, you trapped my eagle. Yeah. And I definitely think that is the way to go. Hey, you, you need to get him trapped. You need you need to trap him. That's the only way you can you and can do it. In this fight, I would probably rather have had a um, more form than my banner. Yeah. Um, because you needed that extra courage. Yeah. I, like the plus one courage would have been would, would have helped out for many times by rule seven. Yeah. Even yeah, because even. even because you had to um, when you had to charge, you had to take a, a courage test every single time that you wanted to uh, to charge any of my three models. Yeah. Um, and also in the uh, in the last turn, um, it might actually have uh, helped you and oh, yeah. bring you to twenty five percent. Yeah. So you actually have another game to get a wound in on Radagast. Yeah, it, it's very, it's also always a difficult choice because like it's thirty points extra for Warhorn. Yeah, uh, which is a lot. It is a lot, but it would have helped you mm -hmm. in, in this. But then again, you didn't know what you got against. Yeah, exactly. And it's like kind of like, 
you can't tail unless we decide to to take it. Okay, you're taking this. I'm taking this. Yeah. Let's tail out this for each other. Then I would have probably taken the warhorn and not the banner because the banner is better if you can reach a bunch of fights at once. I mean, when you only have a maximum of three yeah. fights a turn, then the banner isn't as effective because yeah, you want the banner to help you in a bunch of small fights. Yeah, and you, and we only yeah had three big ones um, yeah at most. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I think you did really well in the beginning where you went over to my infantry guys, uh, chucked a guy mm. to make the front line fall down, and then fly away again, so that, they just had to spend two, two rounds just running. That was the only reason I did it. I mean, it would have been nice if I was able to kill a model by doing it. But that would have been nice, nice, but that was not the point. But you did ruin things for my captain who lost the fate and... He did, and, yeah, he did, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, but the, no, the whole point was just to slow them down, so I had another right. round to try to thin out in, yeah. in the other section. That was the the whole yeah. idea behind that move. So I'll definitely say, uh, when it came to, um, to um, what's it called? VP? No. The VPs? Best, no, the best warrior. What, what do we call it? The Man of Match. Man of Match. Uh, the two eagles. <laughs> yeah. The, um, both the eagles. The two eagles were the man, men of the match. The birth of the match. I, yeah. Um, the yeah. I... The, the the eagles actually did very well. I um, mean, they did most of them. I, I think I'm gonna have to give it to the to the eagle that did that hurl killing seven Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That that eagle was which, which he the whole well, was, was that the same who did the hurl in the beginning? Yeah, it might have been. I think I'm the one that's a bit down the it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> True story. No, I think it was the yeah. Uh, it might have been the uh, the eagle that also did the the hurling in the against first, your um, first first turn. Your captain, yeah, yeah. I think that was the same one. Yeah. Someone will. We can see in video, but yeah. Um, on that fun game, um, I really enjoyed it. We're gonna go play some more games. We are. So, um, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Especially comment because it's always nice with interaction. I don't care about numbers; I just want comments. Comment. So, like, happy, happy, and happy strategy battle game. See ya.